Hello, my name is Duncan Greenwood and this is my first video tutorial that I am making. I'm going to make it for flower sticks. Uh, my intention is to teach you guys how to do flower patterns with devil sticks and flower sticks and whatever kind of sticks it is that you call your sticks. Um, my favorite kind of flower pattern with sticks is the buzzsaw fountain which looks a little bit like this. You can do it anti spin and in spin, obviously left right. Um, but it's all essentially based on the same principle, same technique, which is the turning with the buzzsaw. Uh, it looks a little bit like that. <laughs> um, it's also, you could call it buzzsaw reels, because it is a reel. It, you could also call it, I believe people call it the barrel roll. Um, whatever you call it, it's taking a buzzsaw, taking it from the one side to the other side of your body, and turning with it. Now, prerequisites, things that you really have to know before you can turn with the buzzsaw. Firstly, and obviously, there's the buzzsaw. You need to be able to do the buzzsaw backwards and also forwards. So if you can't do that, I really recommend you find another tutorial where you can learn the buzzsaw and then come back to this one. Another thing that will help you, but it's not really crucial, is the Coriolis. Well, this version of the Coriolis. Um, you, you know, it will help if you can do this with your right hand and also your left hand. But it's not as crucial as the buzzsaw itself. So, let's begin. Um, first of all, just to get a grip on what it is that we're actually trying to do here, we're going to put down our hand sticks and just use the baton and just get an idea. So, you can finger twirl this on the one side. And finger twirl, I'm doing a backwards buzzsaw, taking it across my body and turning with it. And I'm trying to get it over there to the outside of my body. But as I bring it across here, so it's sort of the 90 degree halfway mark, you, your, your elbow gets a little bit caught. So what you need to do is do a twist of the arm. A, um, you push out your elbow to the other side there. And then now your elbow's on the outside, on this side. And then to do it the other way, you also you bring bring the buzzsaw in front of you and now my elbow is on the outside buzzsaw is on the inside in order to get the buzzsaw to that side of my body I need to do a bit of an elbow movement at just the right time to get it on the outside facing that way um, when I say just the, the right time it's, um, it's it works best for me when I do it when the stick is vertical it won't work like here because then I'm, now I'm trying to get my elbow into <laughs> into the stick. It's not going to work. Um, so when the baton is vertical and it's at the center point, that's when you want to flip your elbow out. Actually. Okay. Next thing is um, we'll try with two hands. It's a very simple next step. Place it on the back of your one hand. So your left hand. I'm going to do it on my left hand. On the back of your fingers and the other hand goes on top like a sandwich so it's on the inside of your fingers and you're rolling okay let's say you can do a little bit of a buzzsaw like that but you don't really need to um, you're rolling over and check like as it goes vertical I turn my body and I'm doing that that was slow motion mode I didn't really need to do that because I have slow motion on the camera let's do that at a normal speed and then slow motion Also, anti-spin. Okay, now we pick up our hand sticks again and we start off with a Coriolis going from one side to the, <coughs> to the other side. <laughs> like so. Yeah, got a feeling for that. 
other hand, get used to that movement. Now, what we want to do is same movement, Coriolis, but we let the stick fall over, roll over on the other side of your body. It goes over and then rolls over. And it goes over and <laughs> rolls over. <laughs> goes over, rolls over. Over, rolls over. Now we get both sticks involved. We have one stick supporting, other stick is going to push down. And the stick that you have pushing down is going to be the one that the baton is going to roll over, like so. Okay. Now you're probably going to want to practice that for a bit and get used to that. And then we move on to the next step where we're not just rolling over the one stick, we're actually using both sticks, that the, both sticks are in contact with the baton at all times. Uh, I'm not sure if this makes things easier or harder, but I know that it definitely gives you more control, especially in cases when you want to do anti-spin movements. Um, when I say anti-spin in this case, it's um, when, huh, it's going from a forwards buzz saw turning into a backwards buzz saw as opposed to a backwards buzz saw turning into a forwards buzz saw. It just feels to me like more of an anti spin movement. Um, so yes, so keep your sticks in contact the whole time. It gives you just it gives you more control. And that right there is the movement. Um, what I what I, the way I first discovered this was actually by doing a buzz saw and continuing the buzz sword here, like I was doing with my fingers earlier. And then at this moment, right here, when the stick goes vertical, I would grab it and do a bit of a ninja turnaround move. Um, oh yes, one thing you might find is um, perhaps you've got a longer stick than me. Uh, this is a Lunar Sticks Equinox stick, which is nice and short. Um, it's I think total length is like 50 something centimeters or sharp length of 48 or something like that. It's quite short. Average stick length is a bit longer. So what you might find is if your stick is too long, you're going to be hitting yourself on the inside of your arm. If you are having that problem, then you're probably going to want to find yourself a shorter stick or possibly bend your arms. Um, you might want to maybe cut a chunk out of your arm over there so you've got a gap for the stick to go through. Maybe just bite the ends off your stick or something like that. <laughs> but yeah, um, that's essentially the movement. So you can practice that by just just doing that. Turning left, continue turning, just make yourself dizzy for a while. And turning right. Make sure you practice both turning left and turning right. You're going to end up this way during the anti-spin and the spin anyway. Another cool way to practice is to keep the stick spinning in the same point and just go around it, which is quite effective if you've got fire because it just makes a nice like circle that you're dancing around. And that, my friends, I think is about it. If you have any questions, leave comments. Uh, if you don't have questions, then I hope you enjoyed it and I hope you play with sticks and have fun. Alright, cheers guys.